All right, so someone in the comments told me to make an outfit with the Jordan 4 Military Blue. Now, if you guys don't know, the Jordan 4 Military Blue just came out. I got it right here. I hit on the uh, sneakers shock drop. We got the Jordan 4 Military Blue. Now, you guys see it right here. We're going to get more into it, and I'm going to give you my honest opinions and my feedback on these. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Yeah, so we're going to make an outfit based around the Jordan 4 Military Blue. Now, let me give you a background on this shoe. This was my first ever Jordan. Like I said, my first ever Jordan, it's what started it off to me being Bobby Souls and having hundreds of sneakers. So these to me are very special. Putting off on the sneaker real quick though. One thing I will say, I remember back in the day when I got these shoes, it came with this orange tag, but there was like a uh, like a keychain, almost like, let me see, I got it over here actually. I know my room is a little dirty. I'm kind of cluttered. Okay, don't judge me. But yeah, you guys can see that it used to come with like this metal hang tag and it was plastic instead of this like like flimsy plastic i don't know how to explain it but basically what i'm trying to say is jordan brand kind of isn't doing us right with the quality but it's okay you know it's all right i guess 215 dollars this sneaker retailed you guys can see the details here it's got this beautiful white leather on the upper it's got this gray nubuck that goes all throughout the toe and it even features the nike air the OG Nike Air. Now, Jordan Brand has been loving this on the past couple fours drops that they've done. You guys can see right here, I have the Jordan 4 Bread reimagined, and they did bring back the Nike Air, which, like I said, Jordan Brand, I guess, is they're trying to please the OGs or something. Who knows what's going on, but I personally am a fan of the Nike Air branding. We're going to make an outfit with this shoe, which means that I have to pop this tag, right? We got to pop this tag. Uh, let me... Let me get the big knife, man. You guys know, do not try this at home, but... Mm. Okay, all right. Wow. I've watched my videos before. You guys know that we usually start with the pants, so we're gonna start with some pants. And I'm gonna explain... This video is a little different than my usual, you know, short form videos. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing what with what, all right? So we got these blue, light blue jeans. One of my favorite jeans that I own from Fashion Nova. Let me go ahead and uh, hold up, hold up. Don't look, bro. Don't look, bro, okay? Don't, don't look. One of my favorite pants that I own just because they're light. They kind of go with everything and they're pretty baggy for what it is. I remember, you know, skinny jeans were a thing, bro. And now I'm kind of, look, I can swim in these things, you know? Make sure to uh, zip her up. Another rule, another very important rule. If you guys have watched my videos, you know, don't forget to tuck the tank, bro. Don't forget to tuck the tank, all right? You got to do it. Very important. Now, moving on, we need a shirt, okay? We need a shirt because, honestly, I could I could just, could just throw these on right now and just be good, you know what I mean? I don't need a shirt, but we're going to do it. We got this oversized white tee from Fashion Nova. A tee that I've been throwing on a lot lately, I can't lie. Now that it's, you know, getting nice outside, summertime, the white with the light jeans. It just goes, bro. It just goes. So we're going to throw this on. Let me put let me put the mic here. Get this hat out of here. Oh, by the way, this hat is a Broken Society hat. You guys can literally go on my website right now, Broken Society Clothing. I'm going to link it down in the description. Go get yourself a hat. You know what I'm saying? Let's throw this on and see how it looks. <clears throat> I'll see where we're going with this. Y'all see where we're going with this? Um... You know, it is a little chilly outside today in New York. I don't know where you guys are at, but we're going to get a hoodie now, okay? We need a hoodie. I'm going to go over here and uh, pick the hoodie out. Again, my brand, Broken Society, I'm going with this just because, look, in the sneaker, in the sneaker, there's like this gray new book. Now, I'm not saying that it matches perfectly, but I'm a big fan of, look, if this is the gray tone, if it's light, I'm gonna go with a darker gray just because you don't want the grays being too matchy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a good offset where I, it's still gray, but it doesn't match completely. So let me put this shoe down here. We are, uh, we're gonna check out this hoodie, brokensocietyclothing.com. Like I said, it's called the Insomnia hoodie. Check that thing out. It's very, very comfortable. But uh, yeah, let's, let's throw this on. <clears throat> 
Hopefully y'all can see where the vision is right now. We got the light jeans with the gray, but dark gray hoodie with the white popping out underneath. It's gonna go perfect with these sneakers, but we are not done. We are not done. I'm treating these shoes horribly. This is bad. Like I'm just throwing them around. This is terrible. We are not done because I have a whole bag of hats here. Now I already know what hat I'm gonna wear because growing up back in the day, like I said, these were my first ever sneakers. I used to wear this hat back in the day with these exact sneakers. So that's two different options here, okay? We got two different options. I'm honestly gonna let my brother pick. He's holding the camera right now. Shout out to my brother. LA Dodgers City of Angels hat. Another LA Dodgers hat with the uh, palm tree right there. Hatch on the side, pink brim. So I don't know exactly which one I should do. I do think that I'm kind of leaning towards this one. <laughs> You think this one? This one right here. All right, all right, bet, bet, bet. We're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna let my brother pick. Going on this fitted. You guys see the vision, man. You guys see what's going on here. We got the blue, we got the gray, we got the white. And now all we gotta do is throw on the kicks. Again, the reason we are even making this video is because these sneakers right here just dropped on the Nike sneakers app. They haven't released worldwide on the foot sites yet. Um, I'm pretty sure they released May 5th, so Set the calendar on that $215 retail. I'm about to give you my overall thoughts and love on this shoe. Like I said, I'm a little biased because it was my first Jordan, but people are complaining that the leather has like this light blue tint. I'm not mad at these, man. I'm not mad at them. They are different from the 2012 pair. Had this very like bright blue. This blue is a little darker, but like I said, I like them. I really like these. If you're a Jordan fan, if you love Jordan 4s, in my personal opinion, these are a must, bro. You have to go go pick these up. Go pick these up. Out of 10? Out of 10? I'm giving these... I'm giving them an 8.5, bro, because, like I said before, that, that blue is a little different. It is a little different than what it was in 2012. Um, even in 2006, when I got my pair... That blue is a little different, but they're trying to say, what Jordan Brand has already come out and said is that they're trying to mimic the OGs that came out in 89, I'm pretty sure. So if that's the case, all right, fine, I get it. Because the OGs, the 89 pair, did have that like darker blue. So like I said, out of 10, I'm giving it an eight and a half. Gotta get the paper out of here, you know? That's always the hardest part of, of new shoes, bro. Oh my God. Oh, bro, what? Yeah, we're doing a lot. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, I've don't, I've never really done long form outfit videos like this. I kind of like it better. It's like we're hanging out. I'm literally just getting dressed with you guys. Uh, my short forms have like kind of like a structure to them. This is just a little different. It's fun. Like I said, it's like we're literally just, I'm just getting dressed, hanging out with my subscribers. So shout out to everybody that subs. Paper out, bro. Paper out. You know we got to hit the dance of the day. <sighs> what dance should we do? What dance should we do, bro? Honestly, I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't even think about doing the dance of the day in the long form video. Uh, 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 let's hit him with the, ooh, hey, let's go. Yo, rate that dance though. Rate that dance in the comments, man. Rate that dance in the comments, man, honestly. That was just off the top of the dome. I didn't even think of it. Let's get it. All right, hold up. Let's unlace these a little bit, get them a little loose. Throw these things on the feet, man. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Let me let me kick the camera real quick. Okay. Yeah. These things are uh these things are clean, man. What a fit. All right, yo. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Rate the fit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's great, but you know, people are people have their own opinions, you know what I'm saying? And I'm here for it. That's why the comment section exists. So if you guys want to uh, let me know, is this outfit a W or an L? And if you guys have any other outfits that you want to see me make, make sure to drop a like, let me know in the comments, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Peace.